I'm a happy hoppin' Kirby, and we're returning to Dreamland. It's hoppy hour. Uh, yeah. And welcome back to Kirby's Return to Dreamland. Or as I like to call it, my favorite Kirby game. Or as I like to call it, it doesn't really have a good subtitle. <laughs> uh, I... I always liked it. I, I get why it's called Return to Dreamland, but at the same time, when you think about it, it doesn't really make sense. Kirby never leaves Dreamland most of the time. No. <laughs> like, it's more like, it's called Return to Dreamland in the sense because it's like a return to form. You almost just walked off there. I was curious if there was something there. Let's, there's there's something the here, though. And I'm a ninja now. Not a ninja. <laughs> Yeah, so... It's just kind of more like a return to form. It's like based on like... It's heavily based on Kirby's Adventure. It's even called Kirby's Adventure Wii, which is an even worse subtitle. Would it be better if it was Kirby's Return to Form? I don't know. Also, wow. I never noticed there's actually like farmland on that yeah, planet I, before. This is the background I, I replicated in my 20th anniversary picture. I always thought it was really nice poster that I have on my wall. Yeah, and I saw it for the first time. That's a jackal! He's a jackal of all trades. Ugh, but master, jackal. But only master of cover. Uh, yeah, so we're we're headed over to Nutty Noon. I, like, I always imagine this place like the outskirts of Nutty Noon. And Nutty Noon is like the castle part. <laughs> Here, I got it. Do it again. <laughs> Good job, Tor. I thought that was an energy sphere. It's like, oh shit, we better, we better be quick about it. <laughs> I don't. You I didn't would... trust me at all. <laughs> I want to note because I actually got it. Look, I'm used to playing this game single player. <laughs> You do that in single player, you're not getting the one up anyway. <laughs> it's the thought that counts. Also, you, you you made me think of a thing that I haven't thought about in ages. Oh, there's bomb again. Uh, of, of a very similar thing happening to me in Kirby Nightmare in Dreamland, where I'm in in the one level of Butter Building. Mm -hmm. There's a room you go into, and there's like a bunch of spikes and a one up right in the middle. Of the spikes, and I yes. jump into this, and I jump into one up, get get it, and immediately fall into the spikes, and I had no health, and I died. <laughs> so I I was like, that's the most useful one up ever. I'm sure that's happened to me in the past too. Oh god, that was a waste of one up. I like wing too. Wing can actually snip these off of their snouts. You know what else? Yeah. Can, you know what else Wing can do? Uh, kill myself if I do down, down A, down B. Now I can do it too. Oh, you can just do that with your sword, though. Yeah, but it's cooler to do it with my wings. <laughs> I don't believe you. It'd, be, it'd be even cool. cooler if you did it with your feathers, but you don't actually, you don't exactly have those now, do you? Mm. That's batty. Uh, that's Galactonite that has feathers. I want Galactonite to be cool. Oh, I almost died. That would be cool, wouldn't it? I, I thought the other night that it would be cool to have Galactonite as a... as a, um, Echo Fighter for Meta Knight. I thought that was gonna be guaranteed, practically. Because, like, w at least at the very beginning when it seemed like Echo Fighters were going to be w really common. Who are we kidding, though? Sakurai doesn't like other Kirby games other than his own. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's not like they have totally different moves. They both use Mach Tornado, um, switches. Um, I mean, in Kirby Superstar Ultra, he's literally a, a clone of Meta Knight with new with new moves. Yeah. Switch switch out his uh, sword slashes with sword pokes, and whoa! Wow. You knew that was there without even looking at it. I don't wing again. No, leave that for me! I think there's another one up here. <laughs> really? Yeah, you're right. I like how- I, You're slow on health, and I would have laughed if he just killed you. <laughs> <laughs> he almost did. 
I like Al Golf. I like him too. I'm, I once made a sprite of him. Oh yeah? Yeah. Al Golf is- It's actually pretty silly, like, it was for, like, um... Yeah. It was for someone who wanted to make a Kirby RPG. Mm -hmm. And so they wanted sprites, and I was like, oh, that would be fun, let me try and make some sprites. So I just turned an Al Golf into a Kirby Superstar Ultra-styled sprite. Oh, that's cool. You're always pretty good at that when you needed certain characters for uh, for a Kirby adventure. Yeah. I got a lot of use out of my Master Green ones, and I, I even offered the Master Green ones to them as well. Oh. Uh, I don't know if I remember. And then Master nothing Green. actually happened with that game, I don't think. Mm -hmm. And so... Oh, shit, I forgot. And I got a one. <laughs> so at the end, at the end, I ended up just putting that one sprite in one panel of the end game sequences of Kirby Adventure because I was like, I want to have use for this. Master Green. I did the same thing for the Volcano Dude in Kirby 64. He was also there. Actually, he oh, might. Oh, Magman. He might not. Have, no, the little volcano enemy. It's it it's kind of like a coner, but not really. It's, I don't it sits there, know. Sits there and spits out like. Alti, put up the image <laughs> in editing. I can put up the sprite. Do it. I'm gonna run into the abyss. Oh, bye, Ben Knight. <laughs> Waddle D. Oh. Not even Waddle D is allowed in his own game. Look, I just really don't like the spear ability. <laughs> <laughs> well, I like Waddle D, so that should be also, enough of a reason. This is the other level I played for that other thing. Yeah. <laughs> what the? <laughs> Did, did you drop him on me? I just up slashed he wasn't dead, I guess. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well. Mumbies uh. strike again. <laughs> Good old Mumbies. Oh wait, next time we get to one of those doors, can you don't don't hit the switch just yet. There should be one right here. Okay. Well, it has to be a door. I thought that was you for a second. That keeps happening to me, I keep thinking I'm pink. <laughs> but yeah, this is the other Magalore level in Guest Star Allies. Oh, okay, cool. So this is the only other level I've played recently at all. Uh, yeah, so this level is one of my favorites. Because it's <laughs> one of the sunset levels in Nutty Noon. You drew art of it. I did. With the bomb ability. And you know, yes, <laughs> the bomb ability right in the middle. When I was more of me talking about my Kirby uh, 10th anniversary picture. Uh, yeah, okay, I was just gonna do this. So, now you can do it. There we go. Oh, you don't Hollow Knight it. <laughs> um, There's a Hollow Knight glitch where you can wall cling onto something and the wall goes oh, away really? and okay. you just kind of dash and like, you can keep it. Yes! You know what? If we hadn't... I feel like this would have been the perfect time to first get bomb for you, actually. <laughs> yeah. If, if, if only it didn't actually give us the power for that other time, honestly, that I would have let you have it then. Yeah, I always associate this these castles, you floating want to castles. Do bomber. Oh yeah, since I'm already bomb, I'll take another bomb. Uh, I always associate these castles with the bomb ability. I mostly do it because of you. <laughs> nice. Uh, what was I saying? Kirby, yeah, tenth anniversary picture. I was, uh, <laughs> I was drawing the castle, the floating castle again. And I looked up, like, actual reference photos this time. Um, and I, I looked back at my Nutty Noon picture. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> and I'm just like, where did this, like, moss come? Because in that picture, there's moss that was, like, seeping from the bricks. And also I drew, like, spirally weeds kind of growing out of it. And, like, where did I get that? There's, there's none of that in the game. So I thought that was interesting. <laughs> oh, you want to kill him? I just wanted to set them free. Let's fight him. I just wanted to set them free. Oh, like you wanted to set the the glunk free. Burger. It was a glunk, right? Yes. Boigas. I like burgers for breakfast. Burgers for breakfast. I'm gonna keep the bond ability until the end of time. Ulti, why do you There's keep a super ability thing here. 
So you're not gonna keep it. No, you're gonna use it with the super ability, because I used it last time. Yeah, but... I mean, no, you didn't. But also, um... <laughs> Looming Darkness is gonna get rid of it. Oh... What if I hold on to it like this? What if you hold on to it? It's not gonna work. It gets rid of everything that's in your mouth. I gotta hold on to it. <laughs> I'll always have my bomb. With a bomb. To cheer me up. Oh, we need a we need a Moundo for this next energy scooter too. So I guess I'll relinquish the bomb. I can get rid of it, I'm not Do you like my explosive fireworks? What do you feel about, like, bomb being more like fireworks now instead of, like, actual bomb explosions? You notice that, right? I don't know. Fine by me. I think so, too. I remember people not really liking that. I mean, you're also a party hat. Yes, I do like the party popper. Oh. I get to be this one. Yeah. It's, it's really silly to me how... I thought you were going to do it. It's really silly to me how, like, uh, how many times, the, the different times they do this puzzle and where they put it, because, like, in Amazing Mirror, this is, like, it literally, like, the first, like, 30 minutes of the game, and, right. and this time it's worth five. <laughs> it's like, what? And, uh, in Superstar, I was in Great Cave Fun, so in literally the first room, too. I guess it's more of, like, an early game puzzle, traditionally. You got it. Uh, I guess you, if you were just talking about Flare Beam, you were Flare Beam last time. Uh, yeah, totally. <laughs> <laughs> Giving you too much I'll credit. let you be the Flare Beam as I put bombs on your head. Have a bowling bomb, have a bowling bomb, have a bowling bomb. <laughs> I'm so glad I can do that. Have a bowling bomb. Huh, this kind of reminds me of 30 days before this now. Not identically, but this thing? The mural on the wall here. The mural? What? I never noticed that. What the hell? It's it's like Pop Star, but yeah. also like Ripple Star. It's which I uh, think is why it makes me think of Kirby 64. It's Pop Star with cracks on it. That reminds me of Megaton Punch. Where am I? I hit you into Oh, I thought I was inside of your, your ball, big ball of beam. Smiley face. There's another one. There's Oh yeah, I see the hurt now. This one. I got it for you. You're immune to Scarfies. Thanks for my bombs. Food. Thank you. I'm sure I've noticed that pop star thing before, but it's just... You're just completely engulfed by me right yeah. now. I, I know, it's, it's cool. Now that you mentioned, like, playing this game on a big TV... That's literally right in front of us as well. Uh, yeah. It really is hard to leave the details unnoticed. Like this face! With eyes on Say the forehead. Say goodbye to your bomb. Or with a nose on the forehead. Oh, bye bomb. Watch, I bet you anything there's gonna be bomb at the end of this Fear Duper dimension. This looming darkness dimension. Whatever you prefer to call Actually, it. Actually, yeah, there is. is I there? remember. Yeah, because you you played this. I, this, this is one of the few things I did recently yeah. at all. You played this a little uh, closer to now than I did. That's a roundabout way of saying it. I got it. <laughs> Who actually got it? Who knows? Yeah. Yeah. Big Gordo. Gordo. Or don't. Long Gordo. There's... Ah! Oh, I was wrong. Don't. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna drink that soft drink. All the more reason for me to keep going for the gold. It was also so it was so weird trying to find like this sphere doomer fight for that video. Really? Yeah, because I was like, 
the plat because like it uses the looming darkness from the world two stage. Oh um, yeah, weird. And then it and then it's like. So it's like, I was like, why are the platforms moving? That seems so random to change. <laughs> and then, and then I realized because I had footage of this because I did this this stage first because this is the more obvious one that comes. And it was like, wait a second. And then I looked at the and then I looked at the moving platform and then I looked at the abilities over here and they're the same. And I was like, oh my god, they just went back to this stage for some reason, huh? That's it, that's so it, interesting. It was honestly that that whole part of Magalore's section in that video was the most proudest I was <laughs> of of in the entire thing because especially because like the Wave Three DLC had didn't have any like information on it as far as like right. where all the stages were because like Wave Two and Wave Wave One like people found those stages and stuff but like Wave Wave Three was like nobody had any information. Hell, I kept looking through. Like the Wick, Wick Kirby and Kirby Wiki, just to see if anybody had updated anything. Didn't you say you uh, looked through Game Explains video on it and they like missed everything? <laughs> they completely omitted Amazing Mirror. Jeez. Uh, which, on the one hand, I kind of kind of makes sense. That the Amazing Mirror section took up literally like almost half of the entire video for me, and also apparently they just didn't own the game. I do feel like them not owning the game is a kind of silly reason, especially since you can just, at the time of that video, you could have just downloaded it on the Wii U, yeah. and, like, they are, they are a Nintendo, like... They're always pretty thorough. Considering what they, what their ch channel is and what they try and do, it just, that just feels lazy, yeah. is, is quite frankly my point. Like, they can afford, like, a couple of bucks for Kirby and the Amazing Mirror. They probably, at one of them already... It, I guess they didn't own it already, so that's... So I guess they... Wait, wait, wait. Could, I know how to get this. So I guess going like, oh, they probably already Whoa. bought it at some point is wrong. But, like, they could have bought it, is my point. Yeah. And, like, they had the opportunity to, and... So it just seemed silly to me that they didn't. And I always liked how... Oh, why did God, you do that? Damn, I always... I just admiring the booby. Like, he pulls out a bow, and then he opens his mouth. Oh, yeah, I think I made a spray of him, too. I like Bobby. I wish you would come back. God, uh, I just want Waddle do. All right, let's try again. Uh, You're probably gonna die at this point. Uh, don't, don't predict the future. Ow! No! <laughs> Bobby doesn't like you. <laughs> Bobby. But yeah, I was very proud of that Magalore find. The second thing I was most proud of was uh, the thing in Susie, the one of the me yeah. mechanical stages. Susie was so fucking hard to figure out. I remember like trying time. to help you find it too. Um, because I thought it was. Didn't I say I thought it was in that like poison area in Gigabyte Ground? But it wasn't. I don't remember exactly, but like just in, just the general sense of like of it was it was just very very tricky to find, but like eventually figuring out that like that the saw blades were replacing like poison gas and like realizing that and like figuring that out and like, yeah that was just so tough. The, the thing I hate the most about that video is the fact that I thought of trying to find that one part of Paranza's stage and like I was like they wouldn't have included the HAL room in here right and no they did <laughs> include the goddamn HAL room and they the totally goddamn. did um oh, I, I want to keep being beam actually sorry poppy bro but not today yeah it, I mean it's kind of a shame that there's this one thing not included but at least this is a pinned comment by now, right? Yeah, it was it was pinned as soon as the first person mentioned it. I was like, "Fuck, you're right." <laughs> oh god damn it! Especially it's it's especially bad because I was like, I even because the thing is, I recognized the gem, the gem platform mimic that they tried to do. Like they're because like it's Star Allies, so they don't have all the assets. But like they made a platform that looked like a gem, and they do that in other stages. So I was like, and the Hal Room is in that stage. So I was like, why didn't I check the Hal Room? I just needed to check the HAL room! Yeah. It's, I mean, in hindsight, it's just like, oh, why didn't I... Of course I would do the HAL room. It's, it's not something I can't do. The, 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 the thing that annoys me is that, like, I thought of the HAL room and dismissed it. Yeah. That's what annoys me most. It wasn't just something that I didn't know about. It was just, like, I, I considered the HAL room and just didn't do anything. 
You want needle? Yes. I was gonna take it if you didn't, but <laughs> I guess I'll be beam some more. Babbit, babbit, babbit. How about a babbit? And a room hat. Oh god, I forgot we were supposed to be chasing you. Ah, we got plenty of time. See? See, we still got plenty of time. No need to worry. Make sure to throw it! No. There's a bad butt. Bad butt. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh. <laughs> I I almost hoped that you would have ah. been like in 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 stun lock and just fell into the pit. <laughs> that would have been really funny. Oh, too far away from me. Hey, more beam. Beam is a really cool ability. That's called a pack cloud. Is it? Yeah. I always saw, saw them as sky pac dudes. That's Pac-Man, but as with Cloud Buster Sword. <laughs> You're absolutely right. I can't be running. Let me in. I'm, I'm sad they got rid of Revolution Beam, too. Ah! It's daytime right now, too. There you go, there's Beam. <laughs> Wait, can you, in editing, can you freeze frame, like, what I was going through, uh, like, during that freeze frame when, the, when you got the ability? Sure. Kirby is looking right at the camera with two pack clouds. <laughs> about so you're probably him. wondering how I got here. <laughs> well, me too. Let me tell you this story. All about how my life got turned upside down. Yeah, or at least how I got eaten by two pack cloud. Two pack cloud. <laughs> Hurry up, slowpoke. Also, I didn't know you could eat pack and pack guys. Pack like pack dough and pack pack cloud. Yeah. I don't think you can in most of the other games. You're definitely not in Kirby Dreamland Three. And you can't eat anything in Kirby Campus Curse. I don't remember. They are in Campus Curse. I tend to block Campus Curse out of my mind. <laughs> Come on, superhero! This will be easy. Yo! Boom. I always boom, liked... Boom, boom. Boom, boss of boom. I always liked how fuzzy, or how soft these explosions look. Like, uh, Kingdom Kirby's explosions. This is just me. Pizza. <laughs> Thanks. I'll, I'll accept that as an answer. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, what were you talking about? <laughs> I always liked how High Jumps Kirby's explosions looked like really soft. Do they? Uh, like this explosion in particular. Doesn't look soft. No, it looks explosion. -y. It just looks soft to me. I don't know why. One of the best parts of high jumps now is that you can use it in the air! And off we go! And I'll go. Yay, I get to eat the air again. I want like there to be more owls. Like oh, we missed it. Uh, yeah, we got Koo the Owl, Owl Golf. We got Koo's girlfriend. Who doesn't have a girlfriend? Who does not have a significant other? Oh, you're right. Who's uh, lonely? Yeah. We need more owls! <laughs> uh, there are those owls from that Grand Handmer segment. Who, who can date one of those? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Ulti was taking a sip <laughs> of this Diet Coke. As I said that, I almost made him spit it everywhere. Would have been really bad. I've been kind of mad if it was that a got a very small off. amount. Oh god, I remember this. Good luck. It's the part of the trailer where they showed off the boot. As long as you don't. I didn't even hit him. <laughs> I thought you were. I was avoiding that. I'm better than that, Tor. Well, I think we need that thing. Uh, they have always given us another one, so maybe not. We're just missing out on the bonuses. 
Leave it to me. Yeah, see? Chocolate cake. Chocolate cakey. Oh, don't die again. Yeah, just stay down there so you don't... Uh, I'll get the lap. I got it. Okay, fine. <laughs> you get that cake, though. Get the cake, get the cake! I need it. I need it for my soul. No, I wanted that still. Right. Chicken cake for the soul. Chicken. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds disgusting. Kirby would eat it. Uh, yeah. Probably. Oh, hey, this is the grape level. This is my favorite part of the stage. The grapes. With the grape garden music. Said Knuckles. <laughs> what? His favorite food is grapes. Is it? Yep. From, like, the Archie comics? Uh, no, canon to... Uh, Wait. The Sonic 3 manual. Really? Yep. <laughs> what does it say? It's favorite food of grapes. Alright. You know, grapes are pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just exploding and dying. <laughs> trying to get it. You just pop in and get it. Kirby has a happy face on. Yeah, the grapes. Uh, grapes are good. And I would like more. <laughs> Um, wait, is there anything else up here? No. Yeah, you're right, go. <laughs> That's the fun thing about being multiplayer, I can hang out. No, you got the other one. I want to be icy. <laughs> Take it. Take it. It's useless to me anyway. I like ice multiplayer. I kind of wish I could be a different color. Yeah, I wish I miss when Kirby changed color when he had abilities. Which I get why uh, that's the case now because of multiplayer. I just meant as a part of the multiplayer. Oh yeah, that too. I mean, no. Got rid of the post for us. Wow, look who's the one who died now. <laughs> uh, here, come in and, use, and I'll use you as projectile. Whoa! <laughs> ah. Well, I used you as projectile. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Screaming. <laughs> ah! Is it just me, or is it weird when Kirby inhales and eats uh, bonkers? I'm short. Uh, I don't know. Why, why? It always looks weird. Maybe it's because Bonkers is so manlike. Yeah, it's Bonkers like is like. <laughs> I think that's it. It's like Bonkers has bare feet. It's like. Ugh. So, you, would you feel the same way if you ate Corrin? Uh. I guess so. Right? Oh, there are these more owls? Yeah. Hey, speaking of the owls that Koo should date. <laughs> You're destroying them! <laughs> You're ruining his love life! <laughs> I just don't want him to be as broken up as as they are when Ku when they break up. Kirby's not a good wingman. He doesn't have wings. Should get that. Should got that owl. Just like me. I <laughs> just walked. <in. laughs> hey, I'm walking here. <laughs> I kind of really wish I would have kept Pac-Man in your in that picture I drew for you. <laughs> Ow. One more. <laughs> I still, I still, my favorite thing about that whole stupid scream sequence was the fact that I said that so genuinely. Like, it wasn't a meme, it was literally me going, me doing this stupid, goofy, walking joke <laughs> as Pac-Man, and you hit me, I'm like, hey, I'm walking, I'm walking here. here. And then I realized what I said, I'm like, oh, I really am from New York. Yeah. Oh, I have another uh, true tour story. Um, oh wait, I like this sequence first. It's the only time this happens in the game. Whee! Spring. Blong, 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 blong. This reminds me of the many towers that are in the Kirby series. Yeah. They up. ring a bell. Ah, I see. <laughs> uh, yeah, anyway, I got off the plane yesterday, right, into New York. There were two people immediately after I got off and started walking into the airport. 
that just stopped in the middle of the road. I'm just like, dude, you're in New York City now. You can't be doing that. You, you shouldn't do that anywhere. Yeah, but especially in New York City. I almost died. Did you see that? Yes, I did, and you didn't. <laughs> Yay. I wonder how many lives we would have had by now if I were not to die. I mean, it doesn't take two lives, it just takes one. Uh, yeah. But every time you come back, it takes one. Oh, jeez. <laughs> what was that? Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. It's like Bogus Jesus. If he was a Christian. Or as I like to say, a Bobian. Bobies. A, a crow. Bobies? Yeah. Bo-Bergeezles. Bo-Bergeezles. <laughs> Where did Bergeezles come from? I don't know. Me being weird. <laughs> like some friggin' me being weird. This is a you thing. Yep. You haven't been really saying that. I don't, because I curse now. <laughs> <laughs> that used to be my way of not cursing. Oh, I thought I had whip. I was trying to do that with wood tornado. Bergeezles can be a, a curse. No, it can't. Why not? Because it's not. <laughs> yeah, that's... They need to be wi wi widely accepted. That's a fair point. That's how language works. <laughs> language needs to be adopted and cared for like your only son. That's one of the things that I... <laughs> Meanwhile, somebody who has, who has a son is watching us, and they, they walk up and it's like, I'm adopted. I want it. I haven't been fighter this time, this uh, LP yet. Yeah. Okay, uh, what were you saying? Uh, that's one thing that bothers me about language in general, and like, most more specifically how my mom reacts to it, because like, she'll always complain about like, basic language things that are like, where like, words are being spelled differently or mean different things ba oh. based on what she says and i'm just like language is there's no real rules for language we can decide that there are rules but there's nothing like concrete in the universe that says anything has to be a particular way except our collective con combined like decision that yes this is okay this is how it works you want to do top route yes yeah so it's like you're just like yes of course <laughs> You know my my uh, most infuriating example of that is what ironic or irony. Oh yeah, that's kind. Of, there is a difference between like people just getting something wrong and the definition of a word. Changing. Well, no, I think like by now the definition has changed too. To be literally just like coincidental because it's been adopted like that so much. Or at least that's what I've heard. I haven't actually checked. Oh wait. Yeah, I, 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 I was charging it up and then I realized, wait a second, is this the kind of tower where we need the abilities? Oh yes, and you know what's a, what it's a, a uh, reference to, or inspired by? I was really expecting that to just kill me, <laughs> you're not gonna lie. Kirby's Dream Land 3. Tor's favorite Kirby game. Yeah, sort of, well, my second favorite. One of them. Uh, my, 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 my Kirby game tier list changes from time to time, but Return to Dreamland has always been number one, at least since it came out. Um, Amazing Mirror used to be my number one, but then it stopped being my number one when I kind of just started yeah, when, to really... when you replayed it. No, not when I replayed it, just <laughs> you ate my thing. <laughs> More just when I was... Uh, just kind of reevaluating the game in a general sense and understanding how... Oh, it is a flawed game. There are problems with it. And it especially helped when I had finally played any sort of Metroidvania at all. Also, yeah. this is the first time we're seeing Dubior. Dubior! You, your, your Mr. Dubior joke Dubior. finally makes sense. You can't get me Dubior. <laughs> yeah, this is Dubior. Not Mr. Uh, but yeah, that makes sense. Especially when... It... I, I would need to replay it as well. This has been a long time. I don't think it's bad, I just think that there are definitely problems with it that I think they could fix in the sequel, and I think that's kind of the sign of like, yeah, yeah, the game's not as good as it could have been. Yeah. Um, yeah. 
And I still obviously quite like it. It's probably like at least top three or five Kirby games for me. I just think like, oh, it's not as good as... I, it's not quite as good as before, and also... I like other Kirby games that have come out since more. Yeah, that makes sense. Like, Planet Robot is pretty fantastic, and I really can't wait to replay that one. But Return to Dreamland is your favorite, too. Right? Currently, yes. Yes. Um, I will always be open, also, to opinions changing, so... No, oh, yeah, for sure. Is this the first combo of Cable Lane and Gigant Edge? Uh, yes. In my head, that that duo only exists in, like, Team Kirby Clash. And, yeah, for Kirby Fighters. Um, yeah, I guess... It originated here. Well, it's not like there weren't, like, duo... Yeah, but, like... ...from other Kirby games. But they kind of kept pairing that one, those two up together. Kind of oh, yeah, that's true. Um, like, the only other really recurring duo I can think of is uh, Hobby Brothers Sr. and Hobby Brothers Sr. <laughs> <laughs> and Mr. Frosty and Mr. Frosty. Mr. Frosty. What was I going to say? Uh, something about Kirby. Uh, oh, yeah, I was going to say I probably wouldn't... I, I can't give credit to Return to Dreamland being my Kirby, my favorite Kirby game uh, for it as a game. I mean that makes no sense. So all I'm saying is all I'm trying to say is I wouldn't like Return to Dreamland as much as I do if not for other Kirby games. So it's it's like it's standing on the shoulders. Yeah. Yeah, and I mean, part of what I love about Return and Dreamland so much is its callbacks and like inspiration from other current yeah. games. The you know all the references we keep talking about. Yeah, and all the like it's a celebration. It's it, it was the start of like a celebration of all the Kirby joy I've had growing up, and that I still love to this day. And that's also part of why Star Allies resonates so much with you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it just exactly. takes it takes what Returning Dreamland did and dials it up to eleven. Yeah, for real. it's just that for others who don't really care about that sort of thing, the rest of the game just didn't feel like it yeah. lived up to it. And those yeah, games. Star Allies can be considered. Personally, uh, I definitely think it's not as good as Planet Roll a lot. Yeah, I under, I can I can see that too. Um, I can respect that opinion, but like. When I play video games, I'm playing... I see more than just, like... The game itself. The game. I, I look at the details. Like, video games are a piece of art. Yeah. And... And there is a lot of emotion in Star Allies that, like, just... Isn't just conveyed solely through the gameplay. Right, right. And the music, and... Yeah. Like, video games are this wondrous piece of art that... Honestly, for takes me... Takes all other, like... Honestly, for me, it might be a little blasphemous for me to... For you to hear, from especially coming from me, but like my feeling on the Kirby franchise now is sort of like this sense of like I like it because it's Kirby and all the stuff that I associate with Kirby, all these good memories, all the great music, the just fun everything that makes Kirby Kirby. But I am starting to kind of feel like I don't love the gameplay as much of Kirby, which I think is why a lot of my recent Kirby game let's plays have just not been as engaging. I, in a way, I think I am partially outgrowing it, or at the very least, I'm appreciating other franchises more, which is why I've started to feel like Pikmin and Ori and stuff are my new favorites, because they they have a lot of those similar emotions, but I do feel like I get more out of the gameplay in, in certain situations. That's, that's fair. I'm like, I, I'm not saying that Kirby games are bad. I'm having a great time right now, for, <laughs> certainly. But, like, there's definitely this sense of, like, for me, of, like... I kind of feel like I want more, a little bit more out of games, or at least something different yeah. out of games. And Kirby's just not quite hitting that itch for me. I'm That's certain fair. it's not gonna ever be something I dislike. I'm greatly looking forward to Kirby, Kirby Lost and World, as I like to call it, because I don't like the subtitle, and it's basically a synonym. Um, Watch it, gonna die. Yeah. Or he's gonna die. Oh. Do you want the Ultra Sword, or should I have one? Ugh. Wow, I got it. Uh, yeah, that's... I'm not gonna, like, say that's blasphemous or anything. Um, when you... Especially when you're playing a whole ton of video games. I thought you got an energy streak for a second. <laughs> that's why the game was. Um, oh, yeah! <laughs> Saved you! <laughs> I... 
you, you play so many video games and there's always new experiences coming out. It's, it's easy to, or it can be easy just to put new experiences over the old ones. Old, 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 the old ones. Just like Return to Dreamland being my favorite Kirby game. Honestly, it was really tough to decide for me, like, what my favorite ex gaming experiences were in general, because, like, I have had... Oh, nice, Gal Galaxia Cat. Yeah. I like how we didn't acknowledge Randoomer whatsoever here. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I'm gonna be slashed! Um, but yeah, like, like de deciding that something like Ori or Pikmin was actually my favorite games now instead of Kirby was just, like... It took a it took a lot of thought and like I really had to analyze how I felt about these things, but huh. yeah, it's just I love Kirby and always will, but it's not my favorite thing anymore. And that's just Kirby as is as that. my favorite thing. Kirby is your favorite guy. Listen, and he'll tell you why. <laughs> and uh, I love Kirby and will love Kirby until the end of time, and he'll be my favorite thing until the end of time. Now take it, Lord Starcutter. Just put it on already! Take his mask. <laughs> that sounds really bad. <laughs> I mean, it's what you're doing. One, two, three, four, five. All right, that's a complete ship. That's a complete ship. Who do you ship Magalore with? Uh, his, the War Star Cutter. Understandable. It's already <laughs> in the ship name. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! You did it, Kirby. War is back in business. Or the cars, both wings, the emblem, and the mask. Uh, it's here. Uh, air my hero. I always ship to my home. We were. We weren't explicitly told that, like we the players, but he did actually mention it in one of his text bottles. But we didn't see that. I think we did. Did we? Oh, all right. How Kandra exists in another dimension? It's, it's super, super far, far away, away. But the Lord can fly us there in the blink of an eye. I just blinked. You lied. He just blinked as well. Actually, you see that? Pack some snacks, Kirby. We're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. He is the wizard. Oh, I love this cutscene. I love the music of this cutscene. Mm -hmm. I listen to it all the time. There's a there's a part of it that's a riff on the Lore Star Cutter theme that I that will never leave my head. It's just so impressionable to me. So shiny. <laughs> Triangles. Boom, boom, boom. And it goes into a mi minor key. Dun, 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 dun. First dragon! Time I, first time I played this, I was like, what the hell is that thing? The dragon. Yeah. Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -bum, ba -dum, Crash land. Oh well, my god, I just realized what we're gonna see. <laughs> oh no. It'll come later. This this is the part that always sticks in my head. Okay. I can't wait. I can't even hear it over the dehumidifier. This is not an interesting commentary if I keep singing along. This part. Yeah. Waddle Dee! He's in this game! <laughs> yes, he is, says Melanie. Wendy yeah. has green eyes right now. I don't know. I really like that part, that, that variation of the of the Lore Star Cutter theme. Yeah. And it feels like a very good closing element to it. Kirby, that dragon, its name is Landia. 
It's lived on this planet for ages, but it's always been fast asleep. Recently, however, it woke and went on a rampage. Oh, is that so? Kirby, you must defeat that crazy dragon. I know I asked a lot of you, but this is it. I swear. Whatever you say, sir. Sir Magalores. Must be related to Malachi. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Malachan. Yeah. Malachandra is the reference... That's his name is in Malachi. Malachi. Oh, there's some neat neon signs. I've never looked at them before. <laughs> they are new. Oh yeah, look at that. New Super Kirby you. New oh. Super Kirby Bros. Puppy Bros. You want one? We got them all. Pick a ability. A ability. <sighs> Yeehaw! I do want to show off the the dummy though. Say hello That's to dummy. <laughs> you have a bomb. <laughs> you don't need to see that. Alright. Well, next time on Let's Play Kibber. We're gonna play some Kibber. And that was Nutty Noon. That didn't take the longest to record, though. No, nope. I thought Nutty Noon was... I mean, I associate Nutty Noon with being long because of my video. I can't stop talking about my video. Have you heard about my video? I mean, it is Return to Dreamland, so it's relevant. Yeah. All right. As soon as this exp this bomb explodes, the video is gonna end. <laughs> oh, that doesn't hurt you anymore. 